Okay. So as you can see, probably hear, the sound sounds a little bit different here. Uh, when I was recording this originally, I forgot to turn the microphone on. So none of, the, none of what I said was recorded. So this is a voiceover for this MRE Star Complete Meal. I got this at the Museum of Science and Industry. I thought this would be an interesting video to do on Veterans Day. This is a meal ready to eat, and this is the beef and veggie stew menu number one. Uh, as you can see, my hand coming into frame. It's really hard to remember exactly what I said because, like I said, none of it got recorded. But these are available at MREstar.com. Um, made in the USA. These definitely aren't the ones they give to soldiers. Uh, it's more of a novelty item. But well, let's open it and see what's inside. It says on the top that you can just rip it open. I had a little bit of trouble here, but I managed to get it eventually. And there we go. I wish I could make like some like sound effects here as well for the ripping and the tearing. Anyway, you pull this out, and this is the beef stew with potatoes, carrots, and peas. Um, I think I bring it up. Yeah, I bring it up to the camera here. Hopefully, you can see some of those nutritional values. If not, sorry about that. Uh, the ingredients are there. I don't have the box anymore to read to you either, so I don't know what to tell you right now about what's exactly in it. Uh, there is the uh, packet of accessories. Um, some crackers with the MRE Star logo on it. These are sugar cookies. Next up we have corn nuts or maize tostado in Espanol. We have a pink lemonade power beverage. What else is in the bag? Is that it? Let's put it on the tray. Nice. Okay. Now let's open up the accessory pack, which as you can see I already opened. It has a napkin with MRE Star logo on it. It has a nice plastic spoon mixing in stuff. We have some coffee, instant. 100% coffee. Deep rich. Probably reading the directions there. Can't see them from here. Um, it says it's made in Flanders, New Jersey. I can see that. What else we got in here? We have a toothpick, which I don't think I ever opened. What else we got? We have a packet of Smarties. Delicious Smarties. Some sugar. Some creamer. Some salt and pepper packets, some crushed red pepper, and a moist towelette. I don't think I ever opened the moist towelette either. This uh, this box that I'm using here is actually uh, from Imperfect Foods that I just like ripped apart, put back together for this purpose. Um, this video is supposed to be uh, an homage to another YouTuber that I watch a lot. Here's the uh, pink lemon powder drink. Um, I'm probably reading the instructions on there. I think it says 12 ounces of water to add. Uh, crackers. Okay, that's the first thing I opened is some crackers. You can see there's two large squares. They kind of have some perforations in them. And they fall apart pretty easily, as you can see. So let's see, I go ahead and take a bite of it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yum, yum, yum. What do I think about it? Well, as, as far as I can remember, very dry. Uh, not a lot good going for it. No taste, there's no salt on it. Just dry and take all the moisture out of your mouth. All right, here's the corn nuts. The corn nuts are just uh, toasted kernels of corn. There's, a, I believe, a little bit of salt on it is the only type of seasoning on this one. I'm not sure if it comes in other flavors, but a flavor would be nice, like a barbecue or a ranch kind of dust on there. 
Um, as far as I can remember, it tasted very corny. Kind of like a, a Frito would. But much crunchier. Alright, now I'm opening the sugar cookies. And what are these sugar cookies like? They just look like plain old white cookies. A little dot in the middle. Some uh, sugar crystals on the outside. Now it looks like Pac-Man. But uh, as far as I can remember, they were very dry again. Um, crumbly, crunchy. Not uh, too much flavor going for it. Not very sweet at all. Uh, barely a cookie. Here is the main course. As you can remember, when I opened up the packet, there was no way to... There was no heater. There was none of those, like, add water, put it in, heats up kind of things. Um, it says do not put pouch in microwave. Um, if this was a real MRE, it probably would have had some type of portable heater. Either one where you add water and you put it in the bag and it just heats up with a lot of steam. Or one of the campfire heaters that's like a little tin that you would light. So what I did is I didn't heat it up at all because it's supposed to be ready to eat. So ready to eat means you don't even have to heat it up if you don't want to. So I'm just going to pour it all out on the plate right here. All gloppy and gooky. As you can see, there is some corn in there. There's some peas in there. Um, some beefy, tomato-y kind of based sauce. Let's see. Yeah, I taste it right now. And as far as I remember, it tastes like a canned beef stew, like a like a dinty moor kind of flavor to it. Very mushy, not a lot of solid texture to that at all. Um, let's see what I'm making now. It looks like I'm about to pour the coffee. So, this is instant coffee. It didn't say on the instructions exactly how much hot water to put in here. So I just took a regular coffee cup. This one I think is a little more than a cup um, in size. Pour some hot water out of the electric kettle, to which I think is about a cup. Um, after I tasted this, I was like, I should put a lot less water in there because it was very watered down. Um, I add the sugar. I add the creamer once I was able to pick it up, that, that is. And it busts out and the creamer goes everywhere. Um, enjoy. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, enjoy. That's the company that makes both of the sugar packet and the creamer packet. I think that's like a Staples brand. As you can see, there's not too much dark color to that coffee at all. Sip, sip, sip. It tastes like nothing. Um, pretty much tastes like hot water. Um, this is a, not a coffee I would recommend. It didn't really have any type of flavor or kick to it at all. Now I'm going to try the pink lemonade. As you can see, I have my old 80s White Sox cup in there. Now, as you can see, some of the powder already looked like it's wet. That's because I had poured water in there. But I thought, oh, it'd be nice to have the water pouring in the video. That way you get a nice sound effect for it. But if you remember, did not get that in there. Maybe I'll add a water sound effect or something to these later. We'll see. So, let's stir it up. Dink, 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 dink. And let's give this a taste. So, for me, it tasted a lot like a Gatorade. Um, had the electrolyte kind of flavor going for it. Um, this was probably the most tasty part of it. It uh, was not too sweet, but it was pretty good. Oh, now I'm going to try the... Put some other stuff on top of the main course. Here's some red pepper, flakes... I think I was like, it's already pretty salty, so I'm not going to add salt, but I'm going to add a little pepper to it. Ding, 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 ding. 
I'll do it. Yeah, I do add salt to it. Oh. Probably didn't need to add salt to it. And I think I was like, oh, for a little texture, I'm going to add some of these crunchy carrots to it. And let's serve it on top of a cracker because you got all that stuff. Might as well put it all together and see what you can make out of it. Doesn't that look appetizing? Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Eating it up. I can tell you the crackers went down a little bit better with some of that stew on top. Just because uh, those crackers were so dry. Like I said, it took all the moisture in your mouth. So adding a little bit of the the stew to it did help it a lot. Oh, here we go. The Smarties. Smarties are one of the oldest candies I know of. Do Smarties different colors have different flavors? I'm not sure. My favorite ones are the white ones because they just taste like sugar. And I'll save those for later. And like I'm in like five minutes later after the video is over. All right, so. What am I doing next here? Here I am now standing and eating. Maybe I can read my lips and see what I'm saying. Um, so beef stew, I, I hear myself saying beef stew. Um, if you're curious about all that stuff in the background, there's just like some beer stickers, some family Christmas photos, um, a race number that was not from me. Um, some congratulations, letters, a, uh, a turkey hand that definitely was not made by my one-year-old son that Thanksgiving, but they made it look like it was at the daycare with, uh, it's probably like a backwards letter in there somewhere. Anyway, tell me in the comments if you see anything up there that you recognize. There might be one or two things. All right, here's a close-up of the, the stew, all shaky with my hand. Eating it up. It's very, very basic. Um, I purposely left that uh, camo uh, vest on the side there. That's my son's vest that he probably wore once or twice. I don't really get the, uh, the point of those, uh, the vest, it's like, well, you're leaving your arms to be cold. But anyway, it was camo, so I was like, this is a veteran-like military garb. So let's leave it in the shot, which I did. It's really silly to see my microphone there up on my face and not be able to hear any of it. There was some sound that came through, but it was just a high-pitched squeal, um, which was annoying to listen to while I was editing this until I discovered I could just remove all sound from it. There's the uh, Pac-Man cookie that I took a bite of. I'm probably saying there's no flavor in this at all. Oh, there was like a little bit of a lemony kick to the the cookie just slightly lemony um so i think like the best things out of this whole pack was the lemonade was the better drink of the two hands down one of the tastier things on the, the whole mre menu the stew wasn't terrible i wish they would have have given you one of the the portable heater things for it you know, when I watch the uh, MRE people on the YouTubes eating their MREs, it always comes with it. But I think since this was, like, marketed to children at a museum, they probably don't want things that heat up in them. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. I wish that would have said something on the outer package that was missing. Maybe next year I'll get a, a real authentic one for one of these holidays yeah I'm terrible at reading lips if someone could like watch this part and try to translate it all oh there I'm saying bye anyway that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it happy veterans day subscribe to the channel 
and bye.